Hello everyone, welcome to Fijian Investment Trader. My name is Mr. Singh. Be water. Uh, before I talk on the technical, let's talk about some news and what are we looking at, right? And I, I know we're not getting a bunch of news on uh, Green Concepts, aka B water, but something I want to share with you guys to look at it like we are on average weekly, so it's, it's a 50 50 bull versus. Uh, bear right the sector is blue uh, bullish right now with 67 percent with the 33 percent of bearish uh, but overall with the articles coming out it is still a green right it still should be trending up with all this news a little bit coming out not a whole lot right but it should be some sort of trend right and also the news that came out on the weekend uh i want to quickly want to share with you guys that uh, they talked about it, the CEO, right? The CEO of the company, Lenny Green, um, CEO in the present talks about, and the present talks about uh, the new to the street TV about their companies on North Carolina mountains, a sustainable water business. Mr. Green talks about the continuous gr growth and consumer recognition of B Water brand, right? Uh, which he talked about on Sunday. On 27, um, 11 to 10 to 11 on the Eastern time. So there's definitely some some sort of news, but not a bunch in order to push the price, right? Sometimes, folks, this thing happen, right? Because look at our volume. Our volume is at 8.3 million. Our average volume is at 24 million, folks. 24 million, right? And I did mention on the previous video that we need to definitely keep an eye on our resistance level. So let's talk about it. Let's talk about our key resistance level, key support level. What are we looking at it? This, and also, folks, don't forget that we on the camping wall, uh, become, as so we becoming the uh, vendor from the camping wall, which has 175 locations, right? Those things are not factored gonna be factored in on the earnings so that is something huge that might play down to the road for the growth of the company well it's not uh, not might it will because it's a growth for the company so definitely gonna play right so i'm gonna quickly go back let's go back to three months right and see where we at right uh i know we were testing this very key important level we came all the way actually i'm gonna go back all the way to six months so the six months, right? We were all um, we were trading below the moving average. We were sitting at 0 0.008, and then we read it all the way up to 0 0.15, came down, and we the 200-day moving average was acting as our huge support. And from there, we have been just selling off, right? But there's one thing, folks, we need to keep an eye that this is a key level at 0 0.011, right? Looks like it, the bias are always came in and push it out, but we always fail to break out our moving average at 200 day moving average, right? Some of the key things, right? We are still trading below all our three moving averages uh, at 0, uh, 0 0.108, 0 0.0024. So this 0 0.24 will be a massive, massive resistance to break, right? Um, but let's look at a MACD. MACD looks solid, folks. Uh, ounces solid. A, a, a backtrack it. Uh, it is still showing an uptrend. It is a lot of movement for uptrend. Uh, RSI is at 60. All the way, it's not over over bought right now. Uh, and we're gonna go quickly back on the year to date, right? So on the year to date, you'll see we have 52 on our RSI, right? There's a lot of room uptrend left, right? MACD, we are finally seeing some sort of movement uh, and buying has been increasing uh, at a point because we dropped, when we dropped it all the way, 0 0.0.113, buyers stepped in, pushed it up all the way high of 0 0.19, right? So something that is looks like it, there's a demand is around this range, folks. Looks like it definitely there's a demand on this range up here. So, and I'm going to draw it right back up here, right? Um, unfortunately, I can't move my chart, so I'm going to delete it. So, demand is going to be right up here, 
around this level. So this is the demand area. So this is every time it comes to 0 0.013, it pushes back up. So that is going to be our new support level. I'm very confident on that support level because every time we came in, we pushed through. Right, every time we came through, we came to zero point, we pushed through all the way up to zero point nine, and we'll see. Overall, uh, still a downtrend, yes, folks. I know you guys don't want it to hear it, but this is the fact that it is still a little bit of down pattern right here. I'm gonna change the color, um, let's have it white. I'm gonna set it right, it's still a downtrend pattern because if I am looking up right up here it's all the way right here so I'm gonna leave this for our next video I want to see if we squeeze out or we're gonna right squeeze it out and break out or will we come in testing this level because I'm going all the way from 0 0.001 all the way high of 0 0.27 to see where this pattern rails out my prediction based on my prediction and in on the research on the company and technical analysis on the stock i won't be surprised we'll see a breakout coming soon at 0 0.002 and testing this very important resistance at 0 0.003 so 0 0.002 and 0 0.003 is the two important resistance that we need to break out right i right now overall still like i said it's still a downtrend because we were coming the sort of downtrend we pushed up high, we came down, uh, and then now we we are kind of trading sideways, right? This right here will be a better better picture of it. Like we are trading a little bit on the sideways in order to create higher highs, but every time we came in 0 0.13, we pushed it high. We always pushed it high, right? RSI looks good, overall looks good. Uh, remember folks, there's a tech sector rot rotation going on right now, so, uh, so when the sector rotation happens, usually the funds are moved away like, on, the, on the energy side to a different sector. And you might, we might see something like that throughout the month of even in July. Yes, folks, I know some of you guys don't want to hear it, but that's something we need to keep an eye. But also look at our moving averages, right? The pink line is the 200-day moving average. Yellow line is the 60-day moving averages, right? It's squeezing in, folks, right up here, right? You'll see right up here, they are coming closer. And once it, once it uh, cross over and the momentum picks up, we need everything to be lined up. The blue one is the 20-day, then the 60-day, then the 200-day for an uptrend, right? We're still, like I said, it's neutral right now. We are not going, we are, Every time we come and test that level, we fail to break out, right? So that's why I have this triangular, descending triangular, to see if it's going to break out or no, right? Uh, overall, uh, stay tuned for another news that is about to come on Thursday. So I want to say, uh, yes, folks, there's news about to drop on Thursday. I want to share with you guys right away. Uh, so folks, don't forget to subscribe, smash the like button, so you guys can be constantly be updated. Overall, uh, I'm confident with B Water Gang, it's gonna do good. Uh, it's just a matter of time, right? So, uh, thank you very much for watching the video and have a good day. Please don't forget to subscribe.